and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is an amyloblastoma and more specifically this is a conventional multicystic type. So you can see that we have multiple islands of epithelium and they're associated with a mature collagenous stroma. And because this is an amyloblastoma, Unlike some other odontogenic tumours, we would not expect to see any hard tissue formation. So when we look at these islands of epithelium in more detail, hopefully you can appreciate that we've got these tall columnar cells around the periphery of the islands, which are meant to resemble ameloblasts. And of note, the nuclei are polarised away from the basement membrane and towards the top of the cell. So... If we go in further to the island of epithelium, to this area here, instead of these polarised cells, we now have a more haphazard arrangement of slightly stellate or star-shaped cells in a looser arrangement. And these are supposed to resemble the stellate reticulum. So overall, the ameloblastoma is mirroring uh, early tooth development. Now, you can also see in this island that we've got a degree of cystic breakdown and that's entirely acceptable. And if we go back to the island we were looking at at the start, the middle of this stellate reticulum has adopted a slight pink appearance or the proper name for that is acanthomatous change where it looks slightly squamous in morphology. Again, this has no bearing on the patient's prognosis. So these... Um, islands I would describe as having a follicular pattern but if we go to this area here where we've got knots and strands of epithelium it resembles the plexiform pattern that you may have read about so they're just different names for the varying morphologies of ameloblastoma. There are other subtypes of ameloblastoma such as the unicystic types and also within the umbrella term of conventional ameloblastoma we have other variants as well, such as the granular variant. I've just described the acanthomatous as an adenoid type. So you can read in the textbooks about the different subtypes. So this was an example of a conventional multicystic ameloblastoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.